I gave it a couple coats of paint to uh, help protect it from the UV rays. And uh, the heads of the screws will be on this side, which will be down, and they'll go up into the light. I'll show you that in a second. So what I did is, um, when I started this whole thing, this is the aft roller for the halyard. Uh, that was the pin, quarter inch. I, there was another one up here. You drill the head off it and then uh, drive it out with a, a punch and keep the punch in there so you don't lose the roller. And then what I found is these blue, blue splices are about the same width. So what I can do is when I take this bolt out, or if you're taking the pin out so you don't lose the roller, you can push the splice the bolt out using the splice. And that way, that way you won't lose, you won't lose the roller down in the mast. So the bracket will go on to the mast. Um, that's aft, up is forward, because it's laying on top of my boat right now. And it just slips down like this over the holes and the holes line up. And the thickness here is about uh, 20 millimeters. So this hole here, the top of the hole is 25 millimeters down from the flat surface on the top here. Screws to mount the light go through the two holes there. And I used the two center, there's like three mounting holes. I used the two center ones and then mine, I've already had this light mounted so the nuts are already stuck in the silicone but they're number 10 screws and nuts on the inside. And the wire will exit through the uh, recess channel there. Oh, here's the light mounted with the two screws. The nuts will be on the inside and the wire will exit through the channel. So the bolt to mount it, I use two inches long because underneath this other nut right here, I'm gonna put a clamp to hold the wiring. But if you're not gonna use a clamp, you can get away with an inch and a half length. 